Hello everyone, welcome at ISOP Academy. In this video I will explain you how to deploy ISORP Web Document Server and configure it together with ISORP Server. ISORP Web Documents together with Web Client then allows you to create or edit documents, spreadsheets or presentations online in your Web Client interface. Web Document Server is a standalone image which can be downloaded from ISORP.com website and must be deployed on a separate server, as virtual server, Docker image or physical machine. I have downloaded Web Document Server here as a Hyper-V machine. It comes as a zip archive, so once you unpack it, you should see the README file, where you can find additional information, including credentials to the virtual machine or configuration of static IP address. All I have to do is to import it into my Hyper-V manager and start it. By default, server should be accessible with user root and password mentioned in the README file. Once you will start the machine, it should boot into this screen with ISORP logo, where underneath is current IP address of the machine. By default, it's configured to be dynamically assigned using DHCP, so you can change it or set a reserved lease. If you don't plan to change password, switch to static IP address, or do anything else on virtual machine, there's actually no need to even log in. So once you will open this IP address in web browser, you should see this welcome message. Second step is to pair the web document server with ISORP server. This can be done for example here in ISORP administration console. At first, please check if web document service is running. Then in the grouper section, go to web client. And here to web documents tab. We have to enable the web document service and in the web document server connection, please specify IP address of your web document server. That's the same IP address as you've seen underneath the ISORP logo on a black screen. Followed by the port of servers you will use. I will use 443 for HTTPS, the encrypted connection. I highly recommend you to try the test connection, whether everything is working correctly and the web document service is configured properly. That's fine. So now we have successfully paired ISORP web document server with ISORP server. If you have some problems with pairing ISORP web document server into ISORP, I highly recommend you to go to the services tab here to smart discover and check whether the public host name is also reachable from the web document server as itself, because it has to be. Once we have successfully configured the web documents connection, I suggest to check the last thing on the deployment process, whether the domain, as well as all the users hosted on your server, have the web documents here on the policy step enabled. So that's it. I hope it was clearer for you and you got all the information you need. And thank you very much for your attention. Bye bye. Okay, what else? Did you like this video? So leave us a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss any other. I also recommend you our next video, which is as well related to Icewarp. See you there. Bye.